Mrs. Monkey. I had um, gone to Dollar Tree and got a few items and we're going to try them out and I'll show you what I got. Here we got a couple of things. I got these little buckets. I thought they were really cute. You get three of them for a dollar, which I thought was really cool. And I'm going to do a project with this and then I'm going to use them for organizing. I want to organize my one drawer over on my cabinet that I have. I have all kinds of stuff in there and I'm hoping that the drawer is deep enough so I can put these in there. So we're going to do that uh, soon. <laughs> then I got these two cool things. Now I didn't get this. I got these at, did I get these? Yeah, I got these at Dollar Tree. Yeah, I did. So I was thinking I had I got them at Walmart because I think Walmart gets has these too. But anyways, we're going to try. I'm going to get some water and we're going to try them out and see how well they work. They have the Luffy inside the soap bar here. So we will try, try it out and see. Yeah, they have some smell to them. But we'll unwrap them and we'll see what they're like. I also got, I got this, what do they call, bath burst, and I got this at Dollar Tree, and we're going to try it out. What I want to do is take maybe a tub, or we can fill up the, the tub a little bit, and I'm going to take the GoPro and put it underneath so you can watch it dissolve. I think that would be cool. So, let's do this one first. So, I'm going to get some water, and I will be right back. I hope you can see this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get some water here. Um, I'm just going to use a bowl I have. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to unwrap these. Okay. This one is supposed to be fresh plum. So hopefully. Mm, it says directions. Used with water in shower or bath, natural Luffy provides extra soap cleansing. Can't read. <laughs> Hard to see. Okay, so let's try it and see what happens. So all these people I've seen really like these. And I thought it was cool because you got the Luffy, if you can see, inside there. So, you know, it, it smells pretty. Mmm, that's nice. And I'm not really one for bars of soap, but I could probably use this in the bathroom and just use it by the, the sink you can wash your hands you know it lathers up really nicely see it got pretty good it's nice oh yeah Ooh, I like that but the thing is you have to get the bar way way down in order to use the Luffy on your skin so I don't know how great that would be. And it would take a while, I would think, to do that. Because there's a lot of soap there. So I don't know how great this is going to be, really. Because you would really have to go down. And I haven't even touched the surface. If 
but lather is really nice. So this would be nice to put by your um, bathroom sink, maybe for your guests or something like that. That's probably what I would use this for. You can use this in the shower and use it on your body, but it's going to take a while to get to that Luffy. And by the time you get there, you're not going to be able to use, you won't have much left. So you only probably use it for a little bit. So most of the time you're going to use it without, you know, using the Luffy. So you could probably use this for your feet too if you get down to the Luffy. I don't know. Anyways, I think it's, it lathers up really nice. So it's got a nice smell to it too. So I would try it. I have no problem with it. Uh, you know. And I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. So I'm going to probably use it in the shower and see how far it goes. And then I'll give you a review on it to let you know how long it took. It takes a long time or if it goes real fast. It seems to do pretty good, really. I think I like it. I think I like it. I have to keep it for a while and test it out. Okay. So now we're going to I'm going to go and fill up the bathtub and we're going to try the bath burst and we'll, we'll see it, how it works. So stay tuned. Okay, we are now in our bathroom and we're going to try this out and see how it goes. Thank you, babe. Shea Bear is going to help me with this one because I'm going to use the GoPro and put it under and hopefully it's all going to work out really cool. So what we're going to do, it's, it's a pineapple. They got different ones. I've never used these. I'm not really a bath person. I'm more of a shower person. So, and, um, you know, but, I mean, to me, this might be nice to have, you know. I'm trying to open it up here. There we go. Okay. So, all it says for directions. Oh, it's got plastic on it. Hmm. All it says is drop bath burst into your bath and add a wonderful scent to your body and bath. So, I'm not getting in the bathtub for this one. But I'm going to show you and hopefully you'll be able to see how it, how it bursts underneath the water. If I can open it, I didn't know there was plastic and plastic there. Do you have uh, a pair of scissors there, babe? Yeah, I can't open it with my nails. I don't have long nails. He's going to do it for me. Yay! Oh, he got it open. There you go. Okay. It does say on the package it is not food. So, what's it smell like? Soap. It smells like soap. Oh, it's sparkly. Look at that. Oh, it does smell like soap. Whoa! Okay, guys. That good. Yeah. So, we're going to... Bring it down a little bit lower and where you can see the bathtub more. And we're gonna hopefully get this to work. All right, you ready? My assistant here. Here we go. Can you can you make this? Yeah, zoom it in for me a little bit for me, please. Okay. Okay? Yep. Get toward the back a little bit. Uh, that way? Yep. Okay, here we go. That way. That way? Side, I should have said. Yeah. Good. This over here? Yep. Here we go. Well, yep. this GoPro really ain't going to do a whole lot because it sinks straight to the bottom, but. Uh, let's see.
to let it go. And I guess you can get in the bathtub and enjoy it while it's going. I don't think you have to wait. It doesn't say that you have to wait for it to be gone completely. I don't know if you can pick it up and take it out and save it for later. If you don't want to use all of it, you probably could and just put it back in the package. As long as it's in a dry place, I would think you could. Cool, dry place, it says. Oh, that's cool. He's getting pictures of it. <laughs> you can see it too. That's really cool. You should let them know that stuff in the tub if they start seeing that. Yeah. It's mm. time for a new hot water tank. Yeah. I think I got enough here. Yeah, we got a um, getting rust in the bottom of of the the hot water tank. So when I wash my hair, my hair's turning red now. You can see it in videos that it's getting darker. But um, we're gonna get a new hot water tank. I'm lucky that the it's lasted as long as it has. So, um, you know, it's still working. It's just, it's time. I want to get one before it doesn't work. And I'm tired of the rust in my hair. But it's done good for me to do that. So we're going to start looking for one. It turned your water orange. Yeah. Day. Yeah, isn't that cool? But I meant like the speckles, if they see that. Yeah, yeah, the speckles. They, they might have seen the... Uh video where didn't I do it yeah I did a video on cleaning out the hot water tank yeah yeah I but think you did I don't want to do it again because the more times you do that the more rust is coming off the inside and I don't want the tank right and it's just going to make it worse so at least we know with the cold water the wa the cold water is nice and clear it has nothing to do with it um in fact this is cold water that we're using right now oh cool <laughs> so Anyways, I'm going to add my um, video of being under the water there. i got a couple different angles for you. And so. I'm going to add that, and then we're going to put it together, and we'll be... Got that one? Good. I thought that was a very cool thing to watch. I've never seen them. I've seen them in the stores, but I've never seen them you know, put in a bathtub. They're kind of cool. It's centigrade. Probably if you had hot water. This is cold water because it's more clear than the because of the hot water tank. So it'd probably be already gone if it was hot water and not cold. Probably. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And for a dollar and they come they have different ones, you know, they have different um, little pineapples. So you look at the same water and yellow stuff. and pink. Yeah, yeah. And feel. But I just thought maybe let them know, but like, like if they start seeing rust speckles, yeah, and they're yeah. like that yes. coming out of their hot water only, right? To right. Have their hot water. Checked yeah, you might want to have it checked because it's the rust in the tank. Well, the the tank's actually older than the house. Yeah, it's not the original um, hot water tank. I think what happened that uh, it was stolen when it was messed up inside, and I think. They just put one in here to sell the house. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, they had yeah. something. So they probably got a good deal on it or whatever and, and just put it in here and well, it worked. Uh, so. It's uh, a real estate. Yeah. So they've always got that kind of stuff sitting around. Right. So right. they just went in their, yeah. their hoard and right. checked and said, well, okay, here's one, throw that in there. Because right. that, that tank's from the 80s and this house is what, a 94? Mm-hmm. 90, 94, 94, I think mm -hmm. it is, or yep. some, but the tank's from like 86, right. 88, I think is what I looked up, up yep. on there, and uh, so that's impossible. Well, I'll certainly be glad to get a new hot water tank. My yeah. <laughs> hair might go back to normal. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to say I'm out for now. Thank you, babe, for all your help. You're welcome. And Monkey's going to say she's out for now. Make sure you watch Shea Bear 1000. His videos, um, he's got some really good ones over there. Uh, we're going to, tomorrow, we're going to go on an adventure. Yay! And we're going to 
hopefully get that up tomorrow night or Monday sometime um, for y'all. So it's going to... Oh, mine up tomorrow night, but they might not see it till Monday. Yeah. So we're going to... I'm going to take the camera. He's going to take camera, and I'm going to do one for mine, and he's going to do one for his. So we're going to hopefully get two different angles so you guys can see different things. Yeah, he's going to might try the drone um, where we're going to go. So hopefully that will work out really good. I'm excited to do a break. Um, as you know, my father had his leg amputated. Uh, also, the last week he had a toe on his left leg. Um, so taken off. So he has now only got two toes on that leg and he is back in rehab. So he's been only there a few days and he's learning um, how to transfer himself and get some exercise because he's very, very weak and has lost mega weight. So um, is he going to be able to come home? I don't know about that. I don't think so. We have already signed the paperwork for a long-term facility for him. My mother is on a walker. She's not able to help him. Um, you know, her balance is off too. So uh, this is what diabetes does. So make sure y'all watch your sugar very, very carefully. Um, my parents started in their 40s and yes, I am right there with them pretty much. Um, am I on anything? No. I watch my sugar very carefully. Um, sometimes I don't, you know, but I try. And um, also, I've done some fasting, and I'm getting ready to do some more fasting. I was reading about this fasting, and people who are on insulin cannot do that. Um, you can eat, but you have to eat uh, um, you know, underneath a little bit, so you're kind of catching up and letting your kidneys and liver all um, get back to normal where they need to be. So I did, I have lost weight, and the thing with the fasting, it was not easy to do. You can fast one day. I have seen people do it for a whole week on on the, on the YouTube, and I'm like, no, uh-uh, I need to eat. So, um... But I did it for a day, and I, I think almost two days, I think that's the most. And I would not go beyond that. All you do is just drink a lot of water, and that fills you up. So, um, but I'm going to do it again, because I want to get down under where I'm at, and hopefully I will get my sugar lower. Um, it's not real high, but I don't want to be where my mom and dad are. So, and I don't want to be on in and I don't want to take all those pills that they're taking either. Mm, I'm not a pill person, so it's, to me, a pretty scary thing. So hopefully me fasting here and there and really watching what I eat, I'll be okay. So anyways, monkey's out for now. Y'all have a good weekend, and we'll, we're going to go on our adventure in the morning, and we probably will be out all day. It's uh, going to be fun. And we're going to take Bruno with us so he'll get lots of exercise tomorrow. He'll ha like that. So y'all have a good weekend, what's left of it. And monkey's out for now. Bye. Mm -hmm.